with guidance of course all right okay give me better understanding about islam islam is so beautiful islam is so nice but unfortunately when i look around the world today we muslims are not that nice we muslims are going further and further from the teachings of islam we are going further and further from the quran and the sunnah of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Sometimes we read the Quran only for the purpose of recitation with the tajweed. Inshallah, you recite the Quran with tajweed, you get your deeds, pahala. Inshallah. But is Islam, is the Quran only to be read with tajweed alone or also with understanding? Bukan sekadar mengaji Al-Quran, tetapi juga mengkaji Al-Quran. If we Muslim, if we can read the Quran with understanding, read the book of Hadith, get to know Prophet Muhammad even better, then we will understand what Islam is all about. Not only the form, but also the substance at the same time. Both in balance. So I'm so thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah has chosen me to become a Muslim. And as a Muslim, we have a role model to follow. I would say, in all the human sense, a perfect role model in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if this is the best human guidance that we have and if we muslims do not understand this then we are losing one major part of the treasure that we actually possess but we do not utilize it so i hope i hope i hope after the presentation today after going through what non-Muslim scholars say about Prophet Muhammad, at least gives a challenge to us as Muslims. If the non-Muslim can say so much about Prophet Muhammad, then what have I as a Muslim been doing all this while, not even knowing my Prophet this well? So I hope this becomes a challenge to all of us to learn more about Prophet Muhammad and in the process to emulate Prophet Muhammad in every aspect of our life. I would also like to say thank you very much to the organizer for inviting me today. Whatever is good, it comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is not good, it comes from me. I apologize for all my weaknesses and shortcomings. And inshallah, we meet again in future. Wa ahiru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.
uh, original and spicy and everything. And uh, what we say that we lack in our students' life is uh, we've been spoon feeding actually. Uh, in maybe during our time in Dublin, spend too much, not spend too much, but uh, I would say the 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 intellectual capacity that we uh, that has been given to us are not really used properly. So I hope that this is like a beginning for us. <coughs> to Radisha just give us a key, and uh, after we get the key, and we are the one that should uh, start the uh, the journey <coughs> and uh, try to gain the knowledge. And I, I'm a bit um, ashamed if Radisha is 13 years old, uh, Muslim, and I'm 25. But I think in terms of what he has been shared to us, I think is he has more than me myself, and I hope others uh, also will get motivated to continue this dakwah uh, to as a mercy to Holman Khan. So um, I would like to end uh, the talk today with Tasbih uh, Kafara and Salatul Nas. Uh, okay. Uh